Hey, hello, how are you? Uh, a few days ago, I, well, I've been published several videos about how to use Pyrex, Vina, and such. And somebody emailed me about version 0.8, the one that is available for free for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And noticed something that I haven't, and is that the ver this version 0.8 does not allow you to adjust the size of the grid manually, whereas 0.9 does. However, as you can see here, 0.9 is only available for Linux. So I got thinking, how, how to address that? Can there's something we can do about it? And there's many things that can be done that do not involve using Pyrex or just partially. So I thought maybe a, an interesting test of what we can do to fix it was to try and install this Linux version in the Windows Mac OS subsystem. That is, try to get this Ubuntu, uh, this one, to run that Pyrex. So that's what we're going to do now. Check my previous videos. I have shown how to do the installation of the Windows subsystem, sorry, the Linux subsystem in Windows 10. I think I did a video on how to do it on Windows 11, uh, but the instructions are similar and you can find uh, probably even better videos than mine on how to do that. Now let me double check. Yes, I wanted to see these instructions. There's a couple of things that we may need to do inside this subsystem. Oh, I don't, I don't remember my, my password. Well, let's see. Okay, apparently <laughs> I do remember it. I'm just lucky that it worked. I'm just updating the system as it is now, and then we'll try to mm -hmm. upgrade. Now, in the uh, while this works, yeah, there's tons of things to update. I'm gonna go check the download. Okay, here it is, as a tar GC file. Now, this is gonna be critical. Um, even though we have this Linux subsystem working with inside Windows, they have different locations for the folders. So anything I would like to work with, I'm going to have to move to that Linux partition. Okay. Uh, why? It's, even though we're running two systems at the same time, they are not entirely compatible. So please follow these instructions to the letter so that everything works. First, let's install Pyrex and then we'll work on getting the files there and work with Pyrex inside this Linux. It seems that the update is almost done. Uh -huh. So it says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run this command without doing any, any of the other suggested things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna complain about that. I'm gonna try to just remove it from the list and update the other files. Yeah, let's see, do we have a download? Uh -huh. I'm gonna follow these instructions as... Ooh, okay. Well, let me tell you what's going on. This subsystem is configure so far to run as text only. If I wanted a graphical interface, I probably need to do these steps. They are going pretty fast, I gotta say. I'm kind of surprised uh, with this speed. So I'm gonna let them run. Uh, I think I think I, I just probably should do this right off the bat and run the update as suggested by these instructions. And if that doesn't work, then try to figure it out. So that, that's what I'm gonna do. This uh, previous step, uh, start text and sudo apt install x init, you probably don't have to do it, uh, but the ones listed here. 
run sudo app repository, sudo app update, and sudo app get install. Those are probably required, and I do believe in that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to run my sudo apt update again, as in the instructions, then the upgrade again, just to make sure, and oh, and the sudo apt auto removed. That is usually pretty useful. And finally, I'm going to go back to the sudo apt. Uh, this one install leave, leave png 12. Mm -hmm. I think that is perfect. I am going to make a folder mk, mkdir test. Set it test. Now, this is where things get kind of interesting. There's a home learning test, but where is that folder? I'm going to select this to copy. And I'm going to have to find where that folder is. I seem to remember that we could find Windows. Yeah, like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. OK, let's think about this. So I should be able to, I'm going to go back to my temp folder. Uh, test, sorry, and I'm gonna go cp uh, m m n t sorry dash m n t c. Then we're looking for users at channel uh, downloads. I think. Sorry, downloads. Uh -huh. And there is Pyrex. And then I'm going to add a space and a dot. So what that command is saying, copy this file from all of these address to the dot to here. There we go. There we are. Now that we move that file to Linux, I'm going to tar x cxbf the file. Yes. And according to this, We should, well, we should be able just to cd into the folder and then run sh. OK, we, ha we have a tiny problem, of course. Also, notice something. Uh, if we get an error on Linux, we usually are return, if, and the process stops, this is important, we usually get dropped back to this command line, uh -huh, like that. So if the error was shown and we couldn't return to the command line, it may mean that it was it, the program was doing something to give us what we asked for. But now we need to get this. Whatever this is, we need to install it. So I'm going to copy it uh, and paste it here. Uh, if that doesn't work, leave gtk x11 in Ubuntu. Uh, I'm going to be as as straightforward as I can be. Usually, because Unix is such a pervasive operative system, we get things like this, straight, very straight answers. And what we need to do is just install it. We'll try again. You don't see it right now, but it opened on my secondary screen, and here it is. You see, there's some warnings here. You can probably run the H top. Funny, I, I do I have how much RAM do I have installed on this computer? The subsystem can see memory. Yeah, 64. The subsystem somehow only has access to half of the total memory of this computer, which is all right, but I won't complain. It's not a complaint. So now we have this. Now we need again to copy some files. And I'm going to use this that I already pointed in the right direction. 
Although I don't know if in downloads I have, yeah, I'm gonna copy the work folder. I need to add the uh, instruction minus R because we are gonna copy a folder. I wanna copy the whole folder here. Yeah, you can see, oh, given the, yes, because I'm insi inside the Pyrex. Yeah, that's all right. CD work. And here we have the PDP QTs. I'm gonna erase them just to show. Well, no, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep it. Now, because this is within Windows, uh, Linux, sorry, I should be able to do what I already showed you. Start, uh, and you can see it's 0.9.2, at ligand, Kelvin, test, uh, Pyrex. Actually, I shouldn't put it here. Well, it's okay, I'm gonna leave it there. First, the receptor, VLG. Uh, no, this is not. <laughs> yes, cancel the, the. I'm gonna erase it. Did I cancel it? No, I did not cancel it. Uh, I got distracted. Yeah, it's working on that. I think. I think I'm gonna kill it. And let's see. Yeah, there it goes. Apologies. Now, let's see. I'm gonna try to check where is it selling things. As I told you before, uh, it creates, it should create an invisible file. Yeah, here it is. I'm gonna remove it as if it was the first time we run it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna run it for from oh no, I just got to work from here. Yes, and my secondary screen, here we go. Powered by Linux. Okay, start here. First the ligand. Uh, Pyrex work. I'm gonna use the PDP. Excellent. Now the macromolecule. PDB. Okay, this time I, I did it right, it was super fast. Apparently they were not in the same coordinates, which is fine. Forward, as you can see now, we do have access to these values. So we can edit them. So we are running Pyrex 0.9.2 for Linux within the Linux subsystem inside of Windows. You can probably do the same with Windows 11, just the crucial part is going to be putting the subsystem in your Windows and then copy the files that you can get from the Pyrex download and your own working files into Linux. Maybe in another video I'll run some tests on how fast, if there's any difference in the speed of running Bina inside Linux, inside Windows versus running it directly in Windows 10. Thank you for watching and see you around. Good luck in selling all of this. I think it should be fairly easy, but you just have to experiment sometimes and learn from uh, your mistakes. Ciao!